Hi, this is your math prof again, and we are heading into the uh, the home stretch, as it were, uh, for this particular module. Um, we're going to be graphing, all right? I mean, what's a graphing calculator for if it's not graphing? So let's do it. Come to the Y equals button right here. And if you have anything written in here, just clear them all by using your up and down arrows. Okay. Now, I need to graph. This f of x just means y, so the beginning algebra people watching this, don't panic, just forget about it. You all, on the other hand, the intermediate algebra people, you cannot forget about it. But it's still y, so I guess you can forget about it. All right, let's say square root, um, and screens will look a little bit different depending on the, uh, the kind of calculator you have. I'm going to say x, remember this is the x button, x, uh, where's my plus, there it is, plus 4. Now, I can't graph until I hit my right arrow key to get out from under the radical. Now I'm going to push the graph button. All square root, all square root graphs look, uh, they have this same general shape. They move around depending on the graph, depending on the equation, but they all have that shape. Okay, so we can tell this is going to be your answer. It'll be D. All right, let's go to 30. Oh, it's asking more. Okay, well, I can see that the beginning algebra people won't be doing this because they don't know about domain and range, but you intermediate algebra people, you know the secrets of the universe. Look at the graph and tell me what the domain is. Notice the graph starts at negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4 and then it goes forever to the right. So the domain, oh, we're going to do the domain first and then the range. The domain is going to go from negative 4 to infinity, and the range is going to go from the y-coordinate there, which is 0, slowly up forever. So the y-coordinates will be rising along the y-axis as this goes out to the right, but also up forever. All right, so 0 to infinity is going to be your range. Negative 4 to infinity will be the domain. I'm going to click this. Woo! Now what? Ah, go on. All right, now let's clear and clear. I'm going to graph something that's a little bit different. All right, y equals, let's clear that. I'm going to take the square root of x, and now you don't have any choice because that minus 1 is outside the radical, you've got to hit the right arrow key and then say minus 1. And when we graph this, it starts down there. You can't really see that here. We're going to have to look at both of them more closely. Ah, I think that's it, but let's look at the other one. Nope, because this goes down. That's the value of having one of these on your computers at home, is uh, it gives you a closer up view. So yes, we're going to choose A because, again, remember, 
it really goes down even though that's not terribly visible when the graph is small. All right, I'm going to check my answer. Fantastic! All right. Oh, continue? What? Okay, choose the domain. All right, well, let's look over here. What is the x coordinate at that point right there? It's x equals 0. x is always 0 here on the y axis. So this starts at x equals 0 and goes to the right forever. So our domain is going to be 0 to infinity with a bracket because x actually equals 0 right there. and continue. All right. And they're asking about the range. So let's go down here. Um, hmm. Let's go back here. Let's see. This is 10. So each of these is 2. So that's going to be negative 2. Maybe that'll be negative 1. I honestly don't know. Let's see what the answer choices are. It's going to start at whatever that y coordinate is and go up forever. So I'm going to guess that they're saying it's negative 1. So I'm going to guess this. All right, smarty pants. 35. Ah, all right, let's hit clear and clear. This time, we're going to graph a cube root. Only the x is under the radical, and then you have a minus 3. Okay, so um, math, cube root's at 4, so I'll punch 4, 4, hello. All right, I'll come down. there. Now I'll put an X under here and hit my right arrow key and then say minus 3. Now make sure that's a minus and not a negative because that's what it is here. We're saying minus 3. Oh, never mind. I have to go to Y equals to do that silly human. All right. Um, 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 let's do it. Math. Uh oh, clear. All right, let's clear. Let's clear. And let's clear. All right. So we're going to go to y equals. And then we're going to math. And then we're going to 4. And then we're going to x and then the right arrow key, and then minus 3, and now we're going to graph it. Okay, this is the graph of the cube root of x. Minus 3 just brings it down three places. So this is the shape, the general shape of the cube root of x. And here it is right here. I'm going to say b. Fantastic. Choose the domain. Well, notice that for this, it goes to the left forever and to the right forever. So the x coordinates of all of these points are going to be on the entire x axis. And so negative infinity to positive infinity is the only answer we can give. And the range. Well, as this graph goes to the left forever, it also slowly goes down forever. And as the graph goes to the right, it also slowly goes up forever. So negative infinity, which is down here, to positive infinity up here is going to be your range. 
but it's a different negative infinity to positive infinity because this is on the x-axis because it's the domain. This is on the y-axis because it's the range. All right. Now, number 36. All right, let's clear and clear and go to y equals and clear. And this time, notice that the minus 8 is going to be under the radical with x. So I'm going to go to math, and I'm going to go to 4, which is where the cube root is. And I'm going to say x minus 8. And then I'm going to hit the right arrow key. And then I'm going to graph. So there's your graph right there. It's B. All right. And notice it goes to the left forever, and you can't really see it. You'll have to take my word for it unless you change the window. Um, this goes to the right forever and to the left forever. So the domain is going to be negative infinity to positive infinity. Fantastic. And the range. Well, I'm going to change the window just so you can see this a little better. Make it go out to the right a little further. Let's make it go out to 30. It's not that far. And then graph. See, this is going to go to the left and down forever, to the right and up forever. So our range is going to be negative infinity on the y-axis to positive infinity on the y-axis. So again, there we are. All right. And 37 is just take the, the fourth root of, and you can do that. So, this is it for this particular module.